Both set active and renderer.enabled can be used to make a game object invisible, but there is a significant difference between them that this video highlights. The set active could activate or deactivate a game object, while the, uh, the renderer.enabled can make the renderer 3D game object visible or invisible. Within the set active, disabling a game object, each when we do that, each of its components, including the attached renderers, colliders, and rigid bodies, and scripts will be disabled. While on the other hand, with renderer.enabled, uh, disabling a game object won't impact its attached uh, components, such as the renderers and colliders, etc. While, using, uh, while disabling uh, a game object using the set active, Unity will no longer call the update method of a script attached to the deactivated game object in that case. On the other hand, when using renderer.enabled, Unity will call the update method for the script attached to that game object. And uh, to activate uh, a game object, uh, make it visible using the set active, use this uh, code. While on the other side, rendering.enabled code would be uh, in this form. And to deactivate a game object using the set active, we'll use the this code set active, uh, and we pass the false. And to uh, make a, a game object invisible using the renderer.enable, we'll using this form. So we get its a component, the renderer, and here it could be different types of renderer. Uh, you, you could use renderer or mesh renderer, etc. And then you dot enabled, and then it, if it passed true, then the uh, the renderer of the game object would be visible, if false would be invisible. To check on the status uh, of whether the game object is active, use this form of code. If game object dot uh, active self, if it returns true, then the game object is active using the set active method. If it false, then the game object invisible and inactive. On the other side, um, and when using renderer.enable to check if it's uh, uh, enabled, use um, pass the if uh, statement with the game object, get the, uh, the renderer, whether it's renderer or mesh renderer component, and then dot enabled. And if it's returned to, then the renderer is enabled. Otherwise, if it returns false, then the renderer is not enabled. Thank you. Please like, subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this.